Okay, so once we arrived in Barcelona, we were walking for almost an hour with our luggage because we couldn't find our hostel and the GPS wasn't really helping us. The first thing we realized when we went there is that everyone was outside in the streets. They were so happy and cheerful and there were parades with vehicles and motorbikes and everyone was wearing flags on their shoulders. So, because we were kind of shy to ask the locals what was going on, we decided to Google that specific day and uh, find out what was happening. The park near the hostel was such an amazing place. And because of that date, where most shops and supermarkets were closed, but only the restaurants remained open, there were so many people in the streets, as I mentioned before. They were walking in the park with their families, with their friends. We saw horses, we saw a performer doing dances. There were people having tours in the park. It was such a lovely place to be, especially that day, because you could see a city full of life. thing we noticed is that a lot of people were walking with their dogs or they were sitting in cafes and restaurants and I was so extremely happy about this because I love dogs and I would like to ask you to count with me how many dogs you will see in the next few clips. After our trip and a lot of walking, we decided we wanted to go back to our hostel to relax and freshen up a bit. The celebrations continued until late at night and there was even a concert and small vendors selling different souvenirs and jewelry and uh, food. The next day we woke up, ate breakfast and we found another cool park one hour away from where we were staying and we went there by foot because we wanted to walk more and observe the city without rushing through it. And for this park I'll let some of the videos do the talking instead of me.
After walking for almost two to three hours at the parkway, we decided to go to a nearby restaurant to try the famous paella and after that we would have to go back to our hostel, grab our luggage and go from the metro to the train station in order to get a train to go to Valencia. Needless to say that our experience of going from Barcelona to Valencia was a unique one because First of all, the GPS wasn't working once again and we couldn't find the correct metro line to go from Barcelona to the train station. And so we asked the person at the metro to point us to the right direction and he wasn't very helpful and he actually gave us tickets to another metro line that was going to the opposite way from where we wanted to. And so once we realized that, we asked uh, another lady on the metro, but she couldn't speak English. And so the guy next to her understood what was happening and he tried to help us. At the same time, there were people behind us making fun of us because we were lost and that wasn't very nice but eventually after that we got off the metro and we found two other kind ladies that pointed us to the right direction and after all that we finally got to the train station we bought tickets to the last train for valencia and after four and a half hours of being inside the train we eventually arrived to our destination We are currently outside the train station in Valencia and we are waiting for Isai to come pick us up because there are no metros after 11 in the evening. The next day we woke up, went for breakfast and we walked for almost 15 minutes from where we were staying to go to the Godeya court where we would have our meetings. We had a few talks about self-reflecting and after that came the night and oh boy what a night that was <laughs> That night, we decided to go to a club, but once we arrived there, there was a huge line, so we left, and we were walking for almost one hour in order to decide where we would go, and eventually, some of us got really tired and decided to grab an Uber and go back to where we were staying. You guys remember the rest, so I'm not gonna say any more details. <laughs> if any of you that are watching this moment of the video right now were with me in the Erasmus, I would love for you to write down in the comment section Sport for Understanding Spain Edition. After breakfast, we were once again on our way to another meeting where we sat outside this time and started reflecting. After a full morning of discussing and self-reflecting once more, we got back to where we were staying 
we got ready, got our backpacks, and then we headed out to explore the beautiful Valencia before we would go to the beach to have fun. Without even realizing, those past few days went by in a blink of an eye. Later that night, all of us went together for dinner for one last time before we would go back to our countries. A few people even stayed awake throughout the night because some of us had weird early flights. As for me, I had one and a half hours of sleep that night and I even woke up in terror because I didn't hear my alarm go off. I thought we would lose our bus, but thankfully our friend Simon was awake and he ordered an Uber for us. And eventually we managed to make it to the airport on time and in one piece. Something from nothing. Life lessons come one in the 